Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be making a jetpack, pair of free runners, an advanced solar generator, as well as probably some other stuff. So let's get right into it. I've gone ahead and uh, gathered all the resources. So this one right here is for the jetpack, this is right here is for the free runners, and this is for the solar panel. So let's get the jetpack out and the free runners out, eh? Okay, and we'll just go ahead and make those. Boom. Oh, video. No, I'm kidding. Video, video's over. We made it. So, free runners. Free runners are probably the most important thing out of everything we're making today because they negligate fall damage. Pretty much as long as they're charged, you do not take damage, you do not take full damage. Alright, and obviously the jetpack I put in here to gather up some hydrogen. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah, also, we got through all our ores, as you can see, I also upgraded them to uh, a basic thing, and I also um, added, like, energy upgrades. I added eight energy upgrades to all of them, and also, this one doesn't have a speed upgrade, but every other one has times four speed upgrade so every single time this one produces like from the one ore so as soon as when that produces the three um, clumps the crusher immediately crushes it three times as fast or four times is it three or four times 16 times fast faster all right so when this finishes one this has finished three which so they all match up and stuff like that and Put the jetpack on as you can see jetpack mode regular jetpack fuel and if i push g i think it is yep hover mode and disabled so regular all right if i push spacebar nice nice no damage see that but see down in the bottom corner there it um went from 24 kilojoules to 21.7 kilojoules it's amazing oh no i need to get back to my house i'm back uh yeah other modes so if i push g it'll go to hover uh if i push space i'll jump like normal but then i'll freeze pretty much and i just shift to go back down or as soon as i walk off the edge which is really trippy as soon as I get back on the ground, if you listen, as soon as I get back to on the ground, you can hear it stops, and also you can see on the side. So I hover pretty much, so I stay at this Y level pretty much, unless I push space, then I'm on the Y level above. Obviously you just hold space and you go up, and you hold shift to go down. Yeah, it's really good, and obviously disabled doesn't do anything. So yes, these are going to be very useful getting up and down my mountain. Boom! That mountain, how, how high up is that? I think that's like 120 blocks or something. 57.25 kilojoules. Ladies and gentlemen, I am good as gold. I can never die from fall damage ever again. As long as I have these on. Which is amazing. They're definitely worth the resources. Definitely. 154 blocks up. Oh, around about 100. Okay, so enough gawking at my jetpack and free runners. Uh, next thing we need to make is the advanced solar generator. So I should have all of the materials in here ready to go should if my math is correct you know i guess we'll we'll see eh? so we should be able to craft all of these there should be 12 yep should be craft four of these obviously we can't craft them all because it's stupid and mechanism doesn't stack energy tablets which is dumb okay now we should be able to make yep okay i guess i'm good at math does that i think that I think that requires a, you know, 
subscribe and like. Yeah. I think it does. What do you think? <laughs> okay, now. Nope. This thing is quite big, so if I place it down, it's like really big. So, if I place it down here. Change this mode to hover. There you go. Boom, power, power. The power input from this thing is a beast. This is one of the best early game powers, like power things, whatever whatever you want to call it. Best early game power, like easiest to get really. I think the hardest thing to get is the gold. Yeah, uh, yeah now that we've done that, we will make what are we gonna make? What are we gonna make? An advanced energy cube. As well as that, we'll make a pers oh gold. A personal chest, which isn't that hard. So I might actually get the stuff for the personal chest right now. And I won't edit the stuff out because yeah, it's not that bad. It really isn't. Watch how easy and simple it is to do, as long as you've got the right materials. Come down here, get my awesome amount of materials, and boom, personal chest. Now, what's so good about this personal chest, you may ask? If I push shift N, uh, a 54 slot chest that can be opened anywhere, even from your own inventory. Alright, so obviously you can place it. Oh, you now own this item, so obviously you have to right click and you own it. If I right click it, it will open it up. It doesn't matter what I'm looking Oh, yeah. But if I shift right click, it places it down. The chest, I say I, I put all my stuff in it. I actually need that. All right, and I mine it. It is now in here. Just like that, which is amazing. It really is. It's like a lifesaver. Like, because you can have a whole lot of stuff just saved in here, waiting to go. Like, for example, you could just put, like, a stack of torches or emergency food, emergency torches, emergency blocks, emergency, um, weapons and stuff like that. And with a click of the button, you can get it all. 54 slots. 54, yeah? 54 slots, yeah. The click of the button. With a click of a button, you could get 54 extra slots, which is amazing it really helps obviously the solar generator doesn't generate any power when it's night time so we will be sleeping from now on otherwise because up before I haven't been sleeping of course we can't sleep yet uh, while we're doing that actually we might make an advanced energy cube so one two three four five six uh, okay I can't sleep yet. Uh, just grab a whole lot of those. Grab that. Make two energy tablets. And we don't have the actual cube. There you go. Now, if we make the advanced energy cube, boom. Uh, sleep. Oh yeah, also you can see I got some diamonds. Yeah, I found two diamonds just when I was mining because I need to go mining again for some gold because we ran out. Yeah. Uh, place a block down there. Uh, of course it resets all, it all. Input at the top, output at the bottom. There we go. Now we got more energy. Let's make a flamethrower, eh? It ain't that hard to make. The hardest thing about it is probably the bronze. But I know how to make the bronze. So we do that. Uh, need to make another metallurgic infuser. We can start making bronze. I'll put it here. Now, to make bronze. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but obviously you need copper and tin. Three tin 
and one copper makes four bronze or something like that. And I guess we'll find out. So, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, here. Oh, sorry. One tin and three copper dust makes. Oh, wait, no, you can just put in. Yeah, there. So, one tin there. One tin, three copper equals four bronze. Put one tin in there. It has to be dust. Of course it does. Tin dust. Nice. And just mass produce it. Boom. There you go. And while I'm waiting for that. Ah, three copper, sorry. Three copper, one tin. Give us four bronze. There we go. Now, what can we do with the bronze? We can make armor, a block, a bronze shield, axes, the flamethrower, weapons, armored jetpack, which we will not get into today. But, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, a solar neutron activator, that's to turn, uh, what's it called? Nuclear waste into plutonium? Uh, what is it? Yeah, nuclear waste into plut, plut, plutonium. Polonium. Plutonium, whatever that is, and also to turn lithium into tritium for um, nuclear powers. So we will be making a flamethrower. So if we get some tin, one, two, three, four. Um, a piece of iron. Four pieces of osmium and a control circuit. We should be good. So four pieces of. Oh, there's only two. Very nice. <coughs> so, now we need to get a basic control circuit, as. Come on. As well as two infused alloys, as well as a piece of flint. Now we should be able to make one advanced control circuit, a flint and steel, get some redstone, one, two, three, four, make a basic chemical tank. Now, flamethrower time. Okay, now that we've got the flamethrower and it's filled up with hydrogen, when you pull it out, you can see down the bottom, flamethrower mode combat. Uh, what button is it to change? Okay, so it's N. Okay, so heat mode, inferno mode, and combat. So combat, it won't light anything on fire. Uh, heat mode, it will pretty much, like, uh, what's it called, smelt stuff, which is pretty cool. And then inferno mode, set stuff on fire. Amazing. So we'll probably just leave it on combat mode, but the heat mode, Actually, does it... Oh my god, it turns wood into charcoal. That's absurd. Okay. Well, I don't like that this is now smooth stone. So, I'm gonna burn it with my flamethrower. A oh, nice. And... Replace that wood that I burnt. Put that back in there. And let's go kill some animals, eh? Piggy, 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 piggy. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, there you are. You are going to die. <laughs> the best part about this is it doesn't actually burn the um, food, but it kills them. You want some? You looking for this? Nice. <laughs> no one wants eggs. Eggs are bad. Ah, yes. Mash produce food. No.
I'm not a murderer. I am a god. I see no god up here except me. I'm sorry, but like, you've all got to die. No, no, you've got to die too. You've got to die too. Okay, well I think we've had enough of our fun for today. Ah <laughs> oh, man, it's nice not having to climb those dumb stairs. Might end out the episode here then. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> and I'll, you know, see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye